Okay, first of all, is this on? Can you guys hear me? Is this on? Okay. Hats off to Wake Forest. They're a really good team, and I don't think they're respected, just like I said after the first time. They're not respected the way they should be nationally. If, if, if on one hand we care about metrics, you know, to put teams in, and on the, on the other hand we don't, you know, they're a top 25 no matter how you slice it up metric-wise. So we knew it was going to be a big-time game. Disappointed we lost. Uh, but look, for me, it's, I'm more concerned about the, the well-being of our guys. You know, Flip sprains his ankle. When are we going to ban court storming? Like, when are we going to ban that? Like, how many times does a player have to get into something where they get punched or they get pushed or they get taunted right in their face? And it, it's a dangerous thing. And I don't want that to take away from the game that Wake played. Because Wake played a big-time game. Salas was as good as could be today. And, and hats off to them. But you look around the country and Caitlin Clark, something happens. And now Flip, I don't know what his status is going to be. He sprains his ankle. And it's one thing, like when I played, at least it was 10 seconds in the court, you know, you would storm the court. Now it's the buzzer doesn't even go off and they're, they're running on the floor. And this has happened to us a bunch this year. Um, it's part of it. I don't want this to take away at all from Wake. They earned it. They deserve the win. Steve is a hell of a coach. I respect the heck out of him and his team. They're, they're really good. And if this is an example that they need to be in the tournament, what are we even talking about? So I'll answer any questions. But for me, that's hats off to them. We need to be better. We need to learn from this. Uh, but uh, that needs to stop. Yeah, they're, they're here today. You, you see it. Like, who in their right mind can see that? So, yeah, that's smart. It's, it's dangerous. And in what other sport does that happen? And I'm telling you, I, I don't even think it was, what, did the buzzer go off and all of a sudden fans are at half court? You know, and I'm with Steve. And uh, all I, I turn and I see Flip is just surrounded by students. And he's limping off. We're carrying him off the court. What, what sense does that make? People were there, but I, obviously not. Would you consider the next time you're in that situation? You, want to you know, I should have. That's that's a mistake on my part. You know, it's you're still trying to hope that somehow you can get fouled at the end, and I'm never gonna give up in a game. You want to do everything you can to give yourself a chance, and obviously they're just staying away from us, and there wasn't an opportunity. But in retrospect, I wish I would have gotten those guys off the court, and it's. Uh, so I let him down in that respect. Have you had a chance to talk to the trainers, to, to, to talk to Flip and see how bad he is? No, not yet. I mean, it just happened. And, you know, Caleb got hurt too in the second half. Like, that's why he didn't go back. He had a terrific game. And, unfortunately, this has happened to us a few times this year. And we almost overcame it. You know, Caleb is, is, is so important to our team. It's not just his... You know, he's making shots tonight, but he's just so steady. You know, he plays both ends. He's, he's going to be a special guard, man. And he goes down, you know, in the second half. We don't know what's wrong with him yet. You know, it's his ankle or foot or something. We got to get him checked out. But uh, just a tough afternoon with that, with Flip and, uh, with Flip and uh, Caleb. No. It's, uh, look, I, I don't, I'm not spending my time worrying about the tournament and bracketology and all that. All I know is it doesn't make sense to me that you're talking about four ACC teams being in. Or what, is that four? I think it's, it's four, right? It, no way. I'm not saying it's eight either. I'm not, I don't know what I'm saying. But I am, I do know that Wake, this win shouldn't have validated them being the tournament. <laughs> like you're going to tell me if we won by two, if, if we bang in a three to win, all of a sudden they're not a tournament team. It just, I think we need to have some common sense. Are we fo and what are we following? Are we following the metrics? Are we not? And if we are, it shouldn't even be a discussion. You look at the net and Ken Palm, and they're, I think they're 21. So um, I have a lot of respect for Steve and his team. They, they've, done, they've done a great job.
Last, last question. Coach, the, the offensive execution by Wake Forest in the second half, they didn't miss a three. I think they were 16 for 23 from the field. What was going on there? What were they doing so well in the second half? And, and did it kind of feel like a couple bunches kind of trading bunches, you know? Sure did. I mean, I think on some of those you have to tip your hat. You know, they uh, they came out right away and went inside on us, and we didn't we didn't have an answer. And you know, we've we've doubled the post at times. Other times we played one on one. Uh, when we went one on one, they scored. When we doubled, they kicked it out for threes. And so it's a little bit of you're trying to. It's a little bit of a chess game, but it's not really. It's maybe more checkers. It's pretty simple. You know, like we're trying to protect our pain and also take away the three. And, uh, you know, they don't miss. They didn't miss. I mean, they shoot 70% from the field. And so for me, the fact that they shoot 70% from the field in the second half and we put ourselves in a position to win, it's, I think that says a lot about us. I think that says a lot about our team. I mean, you know, we've, look, we've come off a stretch. We play three, three road games in a row. Um, we have four more games to go in the season, and we're right there. We're right there. So a lot to play for. And, uh, you know, for me, you know, I told the team in the locker room, when you play a really high-level team like this, it's not about who wants it more. They want it just as bad as you do, you know, and vice versa. And so it comes down to then not just playing hard, but execution. And, and we call it winning the details. You have to win the details. So if it's one block out, if it's not fouling at the end of a half, if it's taking care of the ball and getting a shot up, that's the difference. So I know our team. I, I, I love our team. I, I, we're going to learn from this and bounce back. Uh, but the first thing, we got to get, get healthy and see where we're at. So, all right, thank you. Thanks, John. Thank you.